a halt. They're unable to move forward with business until a, until a new speaker is elected. Our Washington correspondent Rachel Knapp has been following the developments on the Hill. Rachel, what's the latest in the speaker race? Good evening, Nick. So I spoke with a couple of House Republicans on the Hill. They called yesterday's vote bizarre, and most of them are saying that they're disappointed that this vote even happened at all. And now a handful of members are throwing their hat in the ring, trying to get elected the highest position in the House. New York Representative Nick Langworthy sent us this statement, saying in part, quote, the House of Representatives saw the deeply dishonorable actions of eight disgruntled members who have chosen to align with Democrats and President Joe Biden to vacate our conference's speaker. While this is a disgrace to our institution, we will not be silenced, end quote. Here's what happens now in the House. They need to elect a new speaker. So far, we know of two House Republicans openly saying that they want the speaker's role. Representative Jim Jordan of Ohio and Representative Steve Scalise of Louisiana, who is the House Majority Leader. Today on the Hill, we are hearing from fellow House Republicans who supported McCarthy on yesterday's historic vote and their frustration with their own party members. It was especially quiet at the very end. Whenever the count was called out, I mean, both sides of the aisle were just silent. Um, it was an historic day for America. I don't think it's on the plus side of what our history is about, but uh, it is uh, it's stunning to see eight members of our party, knowing the fragile uh, numbers that we had to be in the majority, to jump ship. I mean, not I did not expect one Democrat to vote for McCarthy, but I really did expect our party to be more united than they were. Some House Republicans tell me that they are already getting some phone calls from some members who are interested in becoming the next speaker, asking them to support them. But so far, some of our congressional members are not coming, are not saying whether um, or who they should they support um, as the next speaker of the House. But Nick, we do expect the House to vote on this next speaker election as early as next week. Nick, back to you. All right, thanks.